Hello, good evening, and welcome to another episode of Music8 Presents from East Home Recordings. We're so happy to be knee deep in this year's secular, non secular optional holiday season. Are you pleased to see this year come to an end? Did you find any fortune in our shared misfortunes? Have you discovered the key to transcendence? Or a slightly funny walk to the fridge? Let us know in the comments. It's the season for good news after all, and while you're down there, give us a like, give us a subscribe. If you're watching live, share the show. Um, we have got a, a live performed, recorded performance of The Inexplicables, a live interview with Jack Salt coming up, uh, as well as a special comedy debut. Um, so with no further ado, Tomac, make it so. The walk on the cliffs and the smell of the sea The sun sets in two oceans, westerly breeze Soft grass and spongy seat my mother with me My eyes then close time then froze waiting to breathe Saluting the sun in her baking degrees Powerless to her plan yet in nature I'm free Float on her swell, feeling her pulse While plastic proverbs and their meanings are false It's sitting amongst the tallest of trees Riding in forests through deepest of snows Scrambling up mountains, the steepest of screes Or reflecting on tides as they ebb and they flow While you stare at the fire, ponder the stars Why I dismissed your selfishness, wandered on past Proceed to seek solace, informing the last Sentence of a song sway, ascension to calm
go make this Closed eyes when I fly spaceships Rhythm a divine matrix No kidding, notes written flow Spit them, hit them with a bit of rhyme basis I'm calm when I fly spaceships I'm calm when I fly spaceships Closed eyes when I fly spaceships Rhythm a divine matrix No kidding, notes written flow Spit them, hit them with a bit of rhyme basis I'm calm when I fly spaceships When slimy, fingers slipping when collectives to find me The irony of singular man with the plan The similar assimilate to language of hands When classed together they form a basket of hope and clean Of a condition in the casket to soak the energy Transferred through our fingertips and spirit of the yogurt weaving ghost If you're into it, intimate first impressions that are intricate Burning the lessons as we float on a litter Rickling on to your youth to grow old, never graceful Offer your emotion on the cold, is it wasteful? Working our legs as much as our arms Molded by the city in the clutch of its charm
and I From a river, some narrow, some wide Bends to negotiate the tenderest time Friends in the end and the cleansing of night Gather up your side with an empathy lies It really doesn't matter if you're ignorant or wise Everyone gets only the violence of society By your actions and we knew it would affect us back inside Lost your point to kindness, it's a universal sign You and I from a river, some narrow, some wide Bends to negotiate the tenderest time Friends in the end and the cleansing of night Gather up your side with an empathy lies It really doesn't matter if you're ignorant or wise Everyone gets who may be a violence or some lies By your actions and we knew it would affect us back inside Feeling lost, it's way to kindness, it's a universal sign back uh i do hope you enjoyed that as much as we did uh we've got a special treat now joining us from the inexplicables we've got jack salt how's it going jack going good francis how you doing oh man i mean i'm so glad that this, the show is out there it's been it's been waiting it's been waiting i know we've been sitting on it sitting on it we just sneaked it in in time i was so glad that we actually managed to get that in time i think lockdown came in the day after we recorded this it did <laughs> yeah right? i know just that's that's just the way it goes at the moment isn't it <laughs> um yes. jack um let's go straight into it man let's talk go about let's talk about beatboxing with other musicians um we don't see it enough why don't we see it enough i don't know i mean i'm still like this i think this there's a lot of um battling you know like a, a lot of beatboxing is still solo or in pairs or something like that doing uh doing battles uh and i'm surprised i'm kind of surprised that there aren't more beatboxers playing with other music i mean it there are more and more it's not it's you know it's not like i mean i'm the only one at all they're, it looks like it's definitely growing and obviously you know you're helping the movement with your with your teaching and everything as well um yeah well hopefully hopefully get some uh some some budding new beatboxers who can uh who can beatbox with bands more often you know i'm encouraging them to do that to jam with other people and jam with other musicians if they can it's so cool to see um hey look, i'm so i put a request out earlier for for some questions for you uh i've got i've got one modified question which i'm going to ask from yourself back to yourself and that question is how many drums does it take to have as many sounds as a beatbox <laughs> 
beatboxer. Uh, <laughs> no, it's okay. We're not going to get. We're not going to get into that. It's uh, this, this kind of. We're a musical family after all. Um, talk to us Good a little point. bit about your uh, your creative purpose and and well, purpose is a bit strong. Uh, how's it been going creating through this year with all the weird stuff that's been going on? Obviously, lack of gigs. Um, I, I imagine it's been important to stay in touch with the band online as much as possible. Yeah, it's been a it's been a funny time. Um, you know, gone through periods of like like downtime and not not feeling very creative and not doing stuff. I mean, uh, with the Inexplicables, we've managed to meet up just like um, a handful of times uh, uh, to work on some new stuff, which has been great. Um, but yeah, it's, it's it's a funny period because you kind of some. I mean, I I have been working all the way through teaching uh, teaching beatbox and stuff, but. Um, you kind of do end up with more free time, but it's not just the amount of free time you have, it's whether you feel like creating in that free time as well, and sometimes you don't during that period. But yeah, miss, you know. Um, that is the eternal mind game, isn't it? <laughs> it is, it is, it is. You're like, well, I've got all this free time now, but uh, do I feel like doing it, you know? Uh, yeah, but yeah, no, missing, you know, reaching this time of year and realizing that we've you know, done almost no gigs and no festivals and no tours and or, or anything like that. We had some nice tours lined up in Europe as well. And uh, yeah, have it, just realizing sure. that we've reached the end of the year and it's like, oh, right, it went. Okay, that was it. Yeah. You know, that, yeah. A yeah, quick so. shout out to Ludwig, Ludwig, uh, Ludwig Sound. Ludwig, um, Ludwig. Ludwig, I should probably say. Uh, Carmela, yeah. if you're watching. Uh, yeah, thanks for up. thanks for joining us and uh, being a, a a great agent, booking agent to so many bands that that I know. Um, yeah. <laughs> Jack, do you have any top tips for uh, for? I mean, how did you get through the the hump of uh, you know like trying to create this impetus to be creative when um, when there are you know not such obvious things to aim for? Oh god, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess uh, you know some. Some people have just have, have found it a good, some uh, musicians I know have just found it a, a good time to just work on their craft, like literally, you know, rather than writing loads of music, just practicing loads so that maybe <laughs> one day when, when we can perform again, they'll uh, they'll have improved. Like get that, really, right? really, really good. Yeah, just get really good for the. You know, for the <laughs> but um, uh, I did a I did a songwriting course uh, personally, which was great, um, and did yeah did a bit of that to kind of give me more ideas because uh, I think what I find I personally is uh, that uh, I'm used to playing with other people mostly so it's quite funny when it's just you at home in your bedroom and you're like right create and it's like oh no I'm used to bouncing off other people so yeah yeah it, uh, is, it is different I mean good, good, well 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 done also for for finding finding a course you know like life this kind of lifelong learning is is what we all should be doing we should all be getting better at our things all the time and and uh, I think people often don't realize that um, uh, experts or enthusiasts in any field, um, the key is to always be learning and looking for looking for people to learn from or courses that you can get something from. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And also accepting that sometimes there are some periods where you might be feeling more creative and more stuff will be coming and other periods where you won't. So You can't force it, man. You can't force it. You can't force it. Just get outside, go for a walk. I don't know, do something yeah. different. Uh, get out, you know. Um, yeah. That's my tip. That's, that's, a, that's a good tip, man. That's a good tip. That's that's like one hundred and one in the in the self care manual. Yeah. Um, <laughs> look, um, I think uh, I've really I've, I've I've been missing missing a lot of things, um, but there has been some positive things to find. I mean, what would you like to uh, to ideally in an in a ideal world where things open up a bit more, people get the vaccine, we can start to move on with our lives in a more normal way. Um, what would you like to see for the band in twenty twenty one? Well, um, well, we've got we are uh, we are going to bring out our EP. Uh, we, uh, we've got a four track EP coming out in February. We think. At the sorry, moment. sorry, hang on, hang on. Did you hear that? I just I heard a massive, a massive cheer come from somewhere. Did you say February? <laughs> <laughs> we think February, yeah. February, hey, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. February, I'm excited yeah. for that. Are you uh, gonna, can I have a copy? Uh, yeah, all right then. Go on then. Yay. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that. And we're also um, pr uh, making kind of a preliminary steps towards a, uh, a tour in August, uh, going to uh, Busker's Burn Festival, which we were 
really excited to be supposedly playing out this year, but um, didn't happen, obviously. Uh, so Buskers Burn uh, coming up this uh, this this coming year. Every musician I've met who's been there has just raved about how great it was. Yeah, it sounds crazy, like a really man. interesting format for a, for a musical event as well, a little bit different from a lot of the festivals around. Yeah, yeah, and a lot of playing, I think. I think you play like three gigs a day for five days in a row or something like that, and you just shift around different <laughs> busking spots, and uh, people give generously. Oh, so like Boomtown, well. you mean? <laughs> or Glastonbury? Yeah. <laughs> Glastonbury, just, just go play yeah. five gigs at a day, maybe yeah. reach uh, 1% <laughs> if you're exactly. lucky yeah. of the people there. <laughs> Oh, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Um, um, and yeah, hopefully uh, building a bit of a tour around that as well. So I'm um, hoping to go um, to some places in uh, Germany, I think, uh, Austria and uh, Italy as well, hoping to make it down to the south of Italy, which would be great because we've only, we, we've only been as far as the north and the mid at the moment. So we're, we're looking forward to getting... Oh, man, we got, we got so close in, uh, in February. We were literally driving to north Italy when everything started to close down. And it was one of those moments. We were obviously worried that we wouldn't be able to get back. And then it, you had this thing, we're on the road, we're really far away from home. D do we do we push on? Do we turn around? I mean, in the end, of course, uh, the gigs just canceled because of because of lockdown. So we didn't have to make the decision, fortunately, in a way. Um, yeah, <laughs> <It's> <laughs> third time. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Jack, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, it's okay, been really- Having us, having us down in the studio. It's yeah, great. it's been great yeah. to talk. Um, could you introduce us to your uh, music video? Yeah, this music video is the is the title track of our my next EP uh, comes from. It, it, the song is called Audio Eyes. Tom Mac, make it so. Your teeth have no license Retreat from the light You're drinking tea With the tyrants Dicing With the seizure of diamonds A fiend for the sirens And demons and violence Streaming of silence and sleep This insomnia has got me Spending my nights in the streets Powerless and weakened From the size of the beast Half an hour in the sheets Sunrise in the east Now with pressure from fatigue Slip the second in the league Reckon with my greed And I better let it be With some letters let it free from electric lethargy and my dead accessories in this septic effigy My time it dissolves, my tiredness evolves Now I'm lying with the Zionists, minus my soul My sinuses are cold and I find I'm on the road Where the timelessness is dying with a bias to be sold And I find that I'm alone, floating on the darkest of seas Silence in my home, so potent it can dance in my dreams Required to be stoned, another part of this scene Setting fires on my own Assuming that I'll soon relax and stop running doing the laps It's fishy like some tuna snacks I'm wishing I could ruin that position That is skewing facts 
catching fire True in fact, my craft is an extension Of darkness and tension You laughed at the mention I'm starved of comprehension I'm past looking pensive My sleep is defensive Cheating on friendships and beating my senses Welcome to another episode of Fine English Houses and Castles, the very best of great British entertainment, filmed and produced right here in the finest country in the world, God's country, Her Majesty's realm of old England, mighty as the ancient oak, standing against the tide of European federalism and the new world order. Her queen is mighty and fruitful, just as her people have always been, and this example of great British architecture was designed by the great British designer Mont of Paris. Commissioned in 1762 by the Wilberfumble household, merchants of poor German descent that, upon amassing a mighty fortune in the spices trade, held themselves members of the aristocracy and set about proving themselves worthy of high society. And, of course, the mighty folly of Blaise still dominates the view from the Cheddarvale River, looking down on the rest of Europe as if to say, you know what, guys? We just know better. Goodbye, Europe. It was a pleasure making your acquaintance, but you know who makes the best root vegetables? We do. Jerusalem, were you founded here, among these dark satanic hills? And as you watch me walk into the distance, think on this. It is not the end. Well... This seems like the ideal time to say hello to our friends at Complex, Ludwig Sound, Rubik. If you're watching from outside the UK, welcome. We hope you enjoyed that little bit of silliness. But it's Christmas, so let's look at the positives. It will probably be fine, right? Hashtag, it'll probably be fine. Hashtag, Orwellian doublethink. Anyway, we want to thank all of the bands who've joined us this year and most importantly all of you watching supporting the community tuning in huge thanks to the inexplicables um, don't go anywhere here's the final track from their session 
It's called You Take. Take it away. I regurgitate the force-fed faculties of greed and fantasize a fire fortune baptized for free. The television holds attention better than me as I weigh myself down against this netting machine. I see swollen ankles drop down a plastic trim. I see Dave telling us about his fantastic fling. All sex, no salad, and a giant hors d'oeuvre of these dressed down dinners and a pie of four herbs. A raw nerve of regurgitated words when he saw her slam the door first, slip the clutch which made her forward lurch. The board nerds that banter belly sizes before church caught her, gorging rotten plums in the orchard. Suck it till it's clean, suck it till it's gone. If it makes you feel free, then fuck it if it's wrong. We're here to indulge you, we're here to consume you. So our egos can bulge water greed till it blooms. Suck it till it's clean, suck it till it's gone. If it makes you feel free, then fuck it if it's wrong. We're here to indulge you, we're here to consume you. Our egos can bulge water greed till it blooms through. It's all about you. of a labour that take her to secretive lucid behaviour where she's hiding behind so the signs of the time and she's pining for wine with the major with an army of none farming the sun causing harm to the wonders of flavour tasting their truth and they're basing their proof on the raising of roofs as a favour losing the race egg and spoon at her way she is sooner displaced and abrasive sandpaper thin but a hand made of green because her fingers are forcing her face lift. pushing her skin to new heights in the wind now she's fighting her finish is baseless shedding light on her scrimmage that whitens her image and tightens the screws on her braces suck it till it's clean and suck it till it's gone if it makes you feel free then fuck it if it's wrong we're here to indulge we're here to consume you so our egos can bulge water green till it blooms suck it till it's clean suck it till it's gone if it makes you feel free then fuck it if it's wrong we're here to indulge you we're here to consume you our egos can bulge